Well, praise the Lord, hallelujah, and thank you, Jesus. It's around that time right here on KAZ Radio, where we have one of the most hottest shows every single Saturday at 10, none other than The Sharpening Zone, with my friend and yours, Dr. Maynard. How you doing, Doc? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you so much again, as always, for tuning in to The Sharpening Zone. Uh, Today is an exciting day. Our topic is 2018, bigger, better, and brighter. Nope, let's retract, rewind, rewind. Uh Uh-oh, it is better, it is brighter, and then it is bigger. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 2018, better, brighter, and bigger. We thank you so much for logging on, for tuning in, for press, for, for pressing play during the course of the week at your leisure time. Just the fact that you stop by, we send you love, and we pray today blesses you mightily. I want to acknowledge uh, some of our viewers that always send and tag us and post and, and post great comments. Thank you so much for Mother Robinson, Willie Langford of the Holy Ghost Express team, which is a part of the KAZ family. Uh, we thank Charles Dorsey, Candy Hicks, and our minister, T.C. Thomas. We love you. Uh, thank you so much for always encouraging us. Put comments in the boxes so that we know that we are blessing you, things that you want to see. Um, we will respond back to you. Again, thank you for viewing. And as always, nobody else is in the house than your buddy, Reverend Little, on my right. Hey. And today to my left, uh, we have the uh, Kingdom General, amen, (laughs) Apostle (laughs) Derek Scott and his beautiful, beautiful anointed wife, uh, Prophetess Carol Scott. I'm so excited that they are in the building. Uh, They are from Alpha uh, and Omega Ministries in Warren, Ohio. Um, We are so excited because there's some shiftings and things that's happening today Mm -hmm. uh, where we are shifting this 2018 and how we do some things and segments being introduced. Reverend Little, how you feeling today? I feel pretty good. Uh, Praise God for everything. And once again, um, to our viewers, we want to let you know. We know, Warren, you're watching your your pastor on here and and, and the co-pastors on here. And so, Warren, and and to all our viewers, good morning to you, too, because it's important to know that God loves you and we love you, too. And today, like Dr. Maynard was saying, we're sharing better, um, bigger, Better, brighter. And brighter. <laughs> so those are things. You know, one thing, one fact to you know that before um, we had a clue that what was going on with Christ, we was clueless, but Christ knew everything. He died for us, and because he died for us, we are able to be, uh, is it bigger? Better. We're better today Yes. because sin is black. We all know that sin is, is black and ugly, and it's a thing where it can it just it's just ugly, but... And before the foundation of the world, God saw everything. Mm -hmm. So today we're better. Yes. Let's look at Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, real quick Mm -hmm. and everything, because time will go by Mm -hmm. quick. Yes, sir. And I got the King James Version, Mm -hmm. and this is what it says. It says, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. God want us to be better. And mm-hmm. today in 2018, viewers, we are better because of Christ. Without Christ, we're nothing. We can't do nothing without God. And today we want to get better and have exposure because we're on the same team. Mm-hmm. And we must function as a unit. And because without Christ, it doesn't happen. So today we are better. And then because we're better, that makes us beautiful. And you know what I'm saying? So with all this uh, alliteration going on with all the B acronyms we're going on with Dr. Man today, you know, Apostle um, um, Scott Scott and Prophet Scott, uh, Apostle James, you know, but we have to realize one thing about it. We're better, and in 2018, we're going to do, God got some uh, uh, expected end for us, so we got work to do. Now, you don't have to work for salvation, but after you get saved, there's plenty work in the field to do. 
and we got some guests here. And they're not guests. We family. We family. Amen. You know, Amen. This is our studio. Amen. You know Amen. What I'm saying? We know right. we go through all the other details stuff, but the main thing we're we're family. Then I want to touch on business because. We got a man of God that's gonna preach this thing today. Right, right, right. Yeah. I mean, I'm just all I'm doing is is, is breaking up the ground with the sludge hammer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> and so we look at being brighter. And once again, this now we know that we're better, right? Mm -hmm. Now let's look at the brighter. Let's go to Ephesians chapter two. I want to uh -huh. go to the book because see the book is the what. what it's the guideline for all of us, not just me, but for all of us. The Word of God sustains us, and we don't never want to get away from the Word. Let's look at what the Bible says. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2, verse uh, 8, 9, and 10, I got to read it. It says, For by grace are you saved through faith, mm -hmm. and that not of yourselves. Uh, it is a gift of God, not of works, least any man boast. This is what makes us brighter. Here go verse 10. For we are his workmanship mm -hmm. created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. That's what makes us brighter because of Christ. It's not because of us. Can't nobody brag. And I'm glad it's like that because, you know, we don't want to get caught up in a, in a situation, Dr. Manor, um, uh, Apostle um, Cox. Did I say it Scott. right? Scott. Scott. Yes, Scott. I'm sorry. I, well, I'm, we, we, we just now meet, but Amen. it's going to be all right. That's all right. <laughs> and warn this Alpha and Omega Ministries, it's, it's all about Christ, and we must stay in the unity of the faith with that. Mm -hmm. So when we look at the bright side of it, we are bright because we got a bright God and everything. And then as I get ready to get out the way, guess what? We are bigger. And once again, I got another scripture mm -hmm. for us. Mm -hmm. You know, because the book don't lie. That's right. Uh huh. The book don't lie. In first, uh, no, in Philippians, as Paul wrote the letter to his brother Philippians, and they loved it, Paul, too. Anyway, look, verses 5 and 6, this is what it says from the King James Version. For your fellowship in the gospel, the death, burial, and resurrection, mm -hmm. um, from the first day until now, thing that he which have began a good work, there it is again, and you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. The reason why right now, last year, someone was nudging at you, someone was nudging at you. You know, you didn't start off doing that well at first. You might start off with one or two. But now things have expanded. This is this is also a year where you can expand, exhort, and yeah. really give into what God has planned Amen. for us. Because he got Amen. high expectations. See, God know the end. All we gotta do is walk into walk it. In. The That's moment right. just imagine if somebody told you you had what you say you're from uh down, Warren, Ohio. Uh, well, not just warm, but you went down to the dirty roots of uh, Alabama. Opalaka. <laughs> Opalaka. You know, see right. and, and so and Opalaka when he walked into his 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 out of his comfort zone and into what God had for him. Now he's sixteen years pastoring, twenty five years the silver anniversary. I'm talking about it's going down in two thousand. I'm fired up right now. That's all it is. Yeah, yeah. And he got his wife that get it on. <laughs> and then look, if y'all listen, viewers, if you need somebody to come. We're the sharpening zone. We're iron sharpening iron. And, and because we're helping Come one on. another, Dr. Manning and myself, we'll get there. And if Apostle James want to bring some equipment and record it, we'll be there to do workshops. And not only to do workshops, but to show you sometimes you need that hands-on so you can know how to handle the Word of God properly Come in Come with on. the ministries and everything. Right, right. So we got to get it on like Come that. On. So with all that, I just want to say, it's good to have our brothers and sisters in the studio Amen. today. Amen. And that's how we getting it on. So, Amen. Dr. Manning, talk to them because I tell you what, you better watch out because there's some big things from the go down. This, with the, the time is ticking. The time is ticking. <laughs> you better join in. Hallelujah. 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 You got to love Reverend Little. He's always fun, always consistent, and he's definitely a man about the book. Hallelujah. Amen. He's going to take Amen. you to the book. Yes. Well, glory be to God. Again, we're so excited to have Apostle Derek Scott and That's his right. beautiful wife, uh, <coughs> Prophetess Carol Scott. I've been knowing them for about, what, six, seven years now? That's if right. now we're pushing towards a decade, we yes. thank God for it. Uh, I am so honored to have you here today. 
Um, I just want the people to know this is like the realest couple. They are genuine. Um, they are kingdom builders. I have never known anything other than just pure givers. They want to see people be propelled to the next level. Uh, they've always opened pathways and doorways for me, always have encouraged me, always trying to make certain that whatever it is that I'm doing, that they are part of it, Amen. that they are supportive of it and they're pushing it. And likewise, Whatever they're doing, they make me a part of what they're doing. And I am so excited Amen. about that. Yes, because right. when you have people of this caliber who are true kingdom worshipers and believers on the team, uh, or you can be on their team with Christ, <laughs> hallelujah, and they understand that's it's all right. about hallelujah. Jesus, that's right. then that's, that's, a, that's a blessing. Um, Alpha and Omega Ministries in Warren, Ohio, let us hear a little bit about that, what you guys, how long you've been there, uh, and what you got new happening. Well, we're, we're so elated uh, to be here at KAZ Radio. We give a shout out to Apostle James and Pastor Little and Apostle. Amen. We thank you for just the invitation, Dr. Maynard. And, uh, you know, Alpha and Omega is on the move because the next move is the best move. And as you move into this new year, 2018, God has already established uh, us to go into a new beginning and to new things that he has placed before us. And you got to move out of the old season to get into the new season. Come and uh, yes, being prophetess care of my wife Amen. of uh, 18 years, going on 19, we have, we have made a, a determination and a foundational truth that we're going to accelerate the kingdom of God by revelation, Amen. by impartation, by exhortation. And today we want you to tune in to what the word of God is going to give you uh, through the spirit and the rhema word that is coming is going to shift you from the logos to that which is now spoken when God said it that means that he's getting ready to do it when he say it that means you're going to see it and as we get ready to see the prophetic ram uh, demonstrated here we're so excited about those who are tuned in those who are listening and just put your seatbelt on because you're getting ready to go into an ascended place. We are at the airport. That means we're getting ready to take off. Come you're going to leave the tarmac, and you're getting ready to ascend even yes. beyond the third heaven. Amen. You're going to get into a ram that you have never experienced before. And we thank God for the invite. Thank you. Thank you, prophetess. Prophetess. Amen. Hallelujah. I just thank God for being here this morning at KAZ. Thank God for Apostle uh, James and, and uh, Apostle um, Little. Amen. And also Dr. Maynard. I'm just happy. And my husband, I'm so happy to be here uh, this morning. We came to give God glory because he gets the glory. It's not about us. It's all about him. And I just thank God. My word for 2018 was that if God brought you out in 2017, he can do it again. Whatever God does, he can do it again, 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 again. And so even if your commitment, if you need to recommit yourself back to God, just do it again. Do Do your first works again, and God will bless you, and he will make you uh, better, and your day will be brighter, and you will be a bigger person and a better person than you were before. And so let's get ready to let God uh, bless us. And and, uh, the gift that I want to also say that my message for uh, even Christmas was that uh, when he was born, it says unto us a child was born. But I want to let you know that unto you, uh-huh. your ministry was born. My because my. without Jesus, you wouldn't have a mm-hmm. ministry. That's you, right. I wouldn't have a song to sing. My, my. I wouldn't even have uh, to be able to preach the word. And so not only uh, your ministry was born, yes. but also unwrap your gift. Uh-huh. Because God has given us gift. He's given us nine That's gifts. Right. According unwrap. to First Corinthians, Amen. the 12th chapter. Come so on. unwrap your gift and let's give it to the world to make this world a better place yes. to live. Because yes. we yes. all yes. have a gift. Uh, he's he has given us different gifts. So don't compare yourself with anybody mm-hmm. else. Be yourself and you will become, you will be yes. brighter because yes. you don't have to worry about comparing yourself with anybody else. You can be yourself and it's comfortable to be yourself than anybody else. My, my. My, my, my. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Come on, see, y'all, are, y'all you see, well, I, uh, we are in the midst here. Oh, glory. See, you wasn't here when we were praying. Oh, Reverend Little took a song in mm-hmm. before the Lord and yes. there is power mm-hmm. in this room. Mm-hmm. So we believe God that
that the power that is in this room has already translated into your living room on your cell phone, wherever you are, hallelujah, that the Holy Ghost is present, hallelujah, and he's already consumed the atmosphere even where you sit as he prepares to usher you, good God Almighty, into the place, hallelujah. So what are you? whatever you have need of, know that he is able to provide it. Whatever 2017 didn't do for you, understand that he has allowed you to cross over into 2018, and today it's getting ready to be better, it's getting ready to be brighter, and it's getting ready to be bigger. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 All right, what is that? Isaiah 49 and 13. It says, Behold, uh-huh. I do a new, new thing. thing. Uh-huh. Is that right? Uh, now uh-huh. shall it spring forth. Mm-hmm. Right. God, oh, 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 hold up. Shall ye not know it? <laughs> hold up. He said, I will even make a way, what? In the wilderness. wilderness. In the wilderness. Yes. And make rivers. Uh-huh. In the desert. Mm-hmm. In the desert. Bye, bye, bye. Hey, that means a dry place yes. Yes. shall now be Become water. No. But I ain't the preacher today. Yeah. Well, don't get it no, twisted. The girl can preach. My, my, my. Glory to God. All right. But yes, I gotta keep good. myself composed yes, here. Yes. Because again, we have the we have apostle Scott and Prophetess Scott in the house, anointed woman and man of God. That's right. A team, hallelujah, that are great forces that are breaking down barriers, breaking down and kicking in the gates of hell and trampling on, hallelujah, the enemy. My, Glory. My to God and building up kingdom kingdom generals that they may be able to do the same. Yes. Um, One let you know that in addition, hallelujah, to them being uh, over Alpha and Omega Ministries, they are people who are about kingdom business and God has given them the capacity to get resources. Right. Hallelujah. That it might bless you. Bless you real good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Prophet Scott is a psalmist who sings under the anointing. Mm. See, there are a lot of people that can sing. There are even some that can sing. (laughs) Okay? But you cannot fake the anointing. That's right. And it is the anointing that destroys the yoke. Mm -hmm. So, hallelujah. Today, we got a treat because we're going to shift how we do some things on the sharpening zone. That's mm-hmm. right. Today we're going to be introducing a new segment. A segment is simply a little little division, right? Mm-hmm. Hallelujah, a little slither that happens within a program. Glory to God. Not that you are not educated. My, people, my, my, my. But just in case someone was like, well, what you talking about a segment? Right. Ain't, the, ain't the program a segment? Mm-hmm. No, a segment is just a little slither that we kind of cut out and carve out. And we're going to hear, hallelujah, the archangels enter into the building and shift and set the atmosphere for the segment which is actually called the Logos to Rhema. Okay. And that is when someone is going to be bringing and or delivering a word on the sharpening zone. Yes, God. So when you hear what? Logos to Rhema. To Rhema. You already know what the day gonna bring. My, Hallelujah. My, 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 my. Now I can't tell you about what next week gonna bring but we because we here right here right That's here right, right now. That's right. That's and right. the Lord has something for you right here and right now. Also I want to acknowledge that Apostle Scott is a writer. He's very very busy. He very busy. very busy. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Good God Almighty. And before the program ends because I'm looking at that time we want to stay on track. Right. Um, he's going to give us information of how you're able to to retrieve these. Mm-hmm. Um, wait a minute now. The new, the new book is going to be Produce Your Seed. Uh, mm-hmm. Produce Your Seed. Mm. Hallelujah. That means in 2018, you need to be able to produce your seed, and he'll have an opportunity to share a little bit more about that. And wait a minute now. Um, I got to pull this one out. Uh, Church on Life Support. Is this the one that you blessed? Yes. Me? yes. Hallelujah. Yes. To write the foreword on. You know yes. I got the book. Look, come on now. Hallelujah. <laughs> I was so honored. Glory to God that you favored me. Yes. You see, it's an awesome thing when you got people, hallelujah, that do the things that they do and God opens up a pathway that you can be a part of it. Again, because of time um, and with so many powerful people in the room, time can get ate up so very, very quickly. Hallelujah. But it's about that time I want to again speak specifically about Prophetess Scott. Hallelujah. An anointed woman of God. I love, love, love to hear her minister in song. Um, Prophetess is getting ready to bless us Mm -hmm. and bless us really, really good. Um, 
Let me get my my my, my Kleenexes because I hold on a second because I already know. Oh Lord, hallelujah! <laughs> that is getting ready to be. It's getting ready to go down. down. Hallelujah. Yes. Listen. Yes. Hallelujah. Let he that have an ear to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Tune in. Tune in. We thank you so much, Prophet, as you prepare to go yes. before us uh, in song, mm -hmm. so we can begin to uh, be ushered into a greater presence of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to help to make your day a, a better, bright, and bigger day. So we want to thank the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I thank you for new mercies. I thank you for new blessings. I thank you for new mercies coming my way. Yeah, I thank you for new mercies. I thank you for new blessings. I thank you for new mercies coming my way. I thank you for peace of mind. Joy that I can never find. I thank you for new mercies, yeah. They're coming my way. Yes, I thank you for new mercies. Thank you for new blessings. I thank you for new mercy, Lord. They're coming my way. New mercies, oh yes, new mercy, yeah, Lord. Oh, new blessing, yeah, yeah, they're coming my way. Yeah, I thank you for new mercies. I thank you for new blessings. I thank you for new mercies, yeah, they're coming my way. You're not a man that you would lie. You Everything you say is true. You I read it in the holy book. You new mercies are coming my way. Yeah, I thank you for new mercy. Yeah, you I thank you for new blessings. You I thank you for new mercies. Yes, they're coming. They're coming my way. Yeah. Come on, oh, they're coming my way, they're coming my way, they're coming my way, yeah. You gotta believe this. Oh, better is coming, better is coming, brighter is coming, bigger is coming, new mercies, yeah. yeah they're coming my way, they're coming my way, they're coming my way, better is coming. Brighter is coming, bigger is coming, new mercy, yeah. They're coming my way, yeah, yeah, they're coming my way. They're coming your way too. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. What a mighty God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 They're coming. They're coming. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank, 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 Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory, glory. We praise you today, God. Hallelujah. We bless your name. Yes, God. Yes, God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And expectations. Hey, expectations. Yes. My you got to have great expectations. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you don't have any oh, expectations, expectations then he can't hurt. simply give you. Hallelujah. Yes. But if you have expectations, yes. hallelujah, he knows your thoughts are far yes. off. Good Should God Almighty. Hallelujah. He will give you the yes. desires yes. of your heart. Yes. Hallelujah. No good thing, he said, will I withhold my, my, from my. you. Right. Hey, glory, glory, mm. glory. We're going to usher right. in. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, Loose Lord. the man of yes. God, I my, said. My, my. Loose the man of God. Yes. Yes, God. Praise Him. Hallelujah. You know, this is a day of expectation. This is a day of new mercy because they've been renewed on this 20th day of January. 
We know that it's winter time, but it's your championship time. This is the time where we win. Yeah. This is the time where the weather, uh, the rain comes down, the snow comes down, but it does not return back up to him void. Uh -huh. And so he says, just like it comes down and does not go back, so shall my word be. Uh -huh. It shall not return to him void. I want to talk about uh, what's better. And in Genesis, we, we look at in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. We know that. Uh -huh. But but in Genesis 1 and verse 2 and verse 3 and then verse 5, God said, and the earth was without form uh -huh. and void. Yeah. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. Uh -huh. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Now, that's a revelation because when you look at Adam, Adam was created in the image and the likeness of God. Uh -huh. Adam had the dirt in him, he had the water in him, uh -huh. and he had a seed in him. Uh -huh. And he needed to be planted in the earth. The first Adam brought forth a man, the reproduction system of why we are here today as humans. Yes, right. But the second Adam, he brought forth a reproduction of the system of how we ought to get to heaven. Yes. Because heaven is really our destination. The earth is really our first stop to what he brought us to in the likeness. But then he says, I got to take you to the image. Now, the image is what God is creating and repopulating in the earth realm now because he wants the sons and daughters to be in the image. That's right. And so because the face of God, the water was his on the face of God. Uh -huh. It was Adam who had the dirt in him but had not the water revealed yet. Uh -huh. It was not until Jesus comes that the water is revealed. Yes. And he says, now out of your belly mm -hmm. shall flow rivers of living water. Mm -hmm. In other words, he takes you out of the dirt because you can't grow with Without dirt. Right. And let me just tell those who are listening, there are some things that you have gone through in that last season that you were supposed to go through. If you didn't have the dirt, you would have never grown into this new season. You would have never been able to be seen. You cannot be seen in the dirt. Mm -hmm. But when you come up out of the dirt, now you got a testimony to tell the devil that he couldn't keep you where he belongs, That's up right. under your feet. Uh -huh. And so what God is trying to show us to now, in the now moment that we're in and experiencing, he had to give us a separation. He had to give us the waters being separated from the earth. Mm -hmm. But then he tells us, he said, that as the waters cover the sea, so shall the glory cover the earth. Mm -hmm. And this is the season of manifestation, that even as you see the snow out there, yeah. And I know a lot of people are complaining and murmuring, but he said in uh, Genesis 8.22, he said, as long as the earth remains, right. there's seed time and there's harvest. Right. There's summer and then there's winter. Right. There's cold uh -huh. and then there's heat. Right. So I know that y'all have a problem with sometimes the seeing the winter season. Uh -huh. But if you really would get your seed together in this season, you might see your harvest in the next season. Yeah. Because a lot of times we are not preparing for what is next. Mm -hmm. But let me just re re remind you that your next move is going to be your best move. Oh. And a lot of times we are covering up in the winter time to be uncovered in the spring and in in the summer. Right. And God says that which has been covered in this season is getting ready to be uncovered in the next season. Mm -hmm. And that means that if you have had debts, you have sickness, you have things that you didn't receive in the spirit realm, God says in this next season, get ready for spring. Because the next season is going to be the best season. Mm -hmm. And this is the reason why new beginning is so important for us to move into that number eight. Now, David was the eighth son. He was not the most popular one, but he was the appointed one. Wow. There are some of y'all that have been hidden in that last season, mm -hmm. but you have now been overlooked, mm -hmm. but you're getting ready to be overbooked. <laughs> God is getting ready to cause some things that have been a man, an outcast, uh -huh. to come to your presence, mm -hmm. to know that he anointed you so that other people might come out from where they've been. Right. Anytime God gets ready to deliver people, he brings forth a prophetic voice. Mm -hmm. He brings forth the uh, fivefold ministry so that we might be perfected for the work of the ministry. The reason why the devil has been mad at the church is because the hand of God is getting ready to show up. Mm -hmm. And when the hand of God gets ready to show up, he got to hit the devil upside the head that they know that you belong to God. Yeah. And so because God says now in Isaiah 55, 10, as the water come down and as the snow come down, it does not go back up, so shall my word be. I'm going to what? Watch over it to perform it. So when he said, let there be light, God said it 
and then we saw it. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a season now that you're in that you're going to say something, and then you're going to see something. Mm -hmm. If you don't say it, you won't see it. Yeah. The word that we preached on last Sunday was God is getting ready to do something with nothing, and nothing has no commonality with that which is something. Because something to nothing, if it's not in agreement, keeps you with nothing. Mm -hmm. And I want to just talk to about a hundred out there who are listening at me today, and maybe by a thousand might be listening. There is something that God is getting ready to do in this new season that has not been done in the last season. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have an expectation to come into the realm of what the Spirit is trying to show you, then you won't realize what God's Word says in Deuteronomy 32 and 2. He said, my doctrine shall fall like rain. That's right. Now, what is God saying? He said that my word is like water. Uh -huh. Now, it wasn't revealed in the first Adam because it was all dirt. And there has to be darkness before there is light. And there are some saints in this last season called 2017. Only thing God was really trying to show the body of Christ was to bring us into a place of restoration. Mm -hmm. And as we came into restoration in 2017, we also was getting ready to come into recovery. Now, he says that those years in those days that the canker worm and the locust and the caterpillar has destroyed, God says, I'm going to restore those years back to you. Mm -hmm. So this is a season where in 2018, God is getting ready to restore the seasons back to us. Why? Because this has been a season of winter that has been uncommon. You can see what has already happened. I mean, the kids have been, amen, delayed in school already. I mean, five, six times in January. And because of that situation, God is trying to show you that you're getting ready to recover because he's put you in a restoration. Mm -hmm. Anytime he puts the saints in a restoration mode, that is to get you out of the weary mode. Yeah. That's the reason why he tells in Galatians 6, 9, don't you be weary in well-doing. Well, you're getting ready to reap. Uh -huh. If you faint not. Faint. Now, as long as the earth remains, there's seed time, yes. and then there's harvest. Uh -huh. And if you don't know the season that God has in his hand, mm -hmm. what you'll do, you'll get mad and not realize that the water comes down because that's his word. Mm -hmm. And as his word is falling, he's also trying to show you what Matthew 5.45 says, that he reigns on the just as well as the unjust. Right. He causes his shun to shine on not only the unrighteous, but the righteousness. And there are seasons where darkness seems like you can't even see your way through. There's somebody that's listening. It seems like you're going through a season, uh, through a season last year where your health went wrong, your money went wrong, your relationship with the house of worship went wrong. But let me just come to exhort you and to edify you that that was that last season. Yeah. Now you have, an ex you have an expectation now to come up from where you were in the dirt to now be seen in the light. Right. Why? Because when the when the when the produce comes, it does not look like it is in the dust. It doesn't look like what it started from. It had to take root and then it had to spring forth. And the woman of God was talking about Isaiah 43, 18, 19. He says that now, don't you consider that former thing, mm -hmm. nor the things of old. Some people got to hear that now. You've been trying to hold on to that former thing. And he's been saying to the body of Christ, behold, I'm going to do a what? New thing. Mm -hmm. It's going to spring forth. That means it's going to come up out of the ground. Yeah. It's going to come out where the devil's been trying to keep you down along with the fiery serpents that are around you and all the things that have been trying to hold you back from moving into the presence of God. God says that the Ark of the Covenant is coming back to the house of God. Yeah. Why? Because his presence, amen, has been missing. There's been a, a, a amber alert out for Jesus. Uh, that means he's been missing. He's been, he's been hidden from his people. But there is some people like the prophetic and the apostolic that that is trying to get people to find Jesus now. Mm -hmm. Because when you find him, he's no longer missing. He's no longer uh, uh, dispersed from the place where he belongs. He belongs in the house. Because in his presence, there's the fullness of what? Joy. Joy. At his right hand, there's some pleasures mm -hmm. forevermore. So he said, now I'm going to disperse that amber alert that was on my house where my son was missing, and I'm getting ready to produce you into a place where your harvest is going to take precedence because as long the earth remain there's seed time and then there's harvest right. there's summer and then there's winter so the winter season is only preparing you and me to the next season All right. now you ever notice that it doesn't say spring and fall mm 
Why? Because those seasons have to birth out. The reason why you see the earth always in a travailing moment where there's natural disasters, floods, and hurricanes and tornadoes because the earth is travailing. It's waiting on the manifestation of the sons of God, not only in winter, but even in spring and even in summer and even in fall. Every season has its own time to birth out the season that it belongs in. And because God is a, a man, he's a, a father, and then he saves, he saves the midwife spirit for us because we have to travail in order for the baby to come out. If we don't have a shout in our belly, the water can't come out. And so before the woman can release the child, the water got to break. Let me just tell you that there's a season that the church has not been expecting the water to break. Right. Why? Because they want steel bursts. Mm -hmm. They want dry bursts. They want to continue to be in a wilderness moment. But let me just prophesy that this next season is going to be called promise. Yay. And what God has promised, he's getting ready to what? Perform it. Because when you say it, you're going to see it. Yeah. When God said, let there be light, God saw light. Yeah. And then he says, the light has got to be separated from the darkness. Right. Now the church has gone through a dark age. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of dark things happening. Happening. There's been a lot of things that have been an obscurity to the body of Christ, things that should not be mentioned, like Paul said. But that means that God has to cut away some stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, you know about the circumcision. You know, the, the eighth son, the eighth day, I should say. Not only David was the eighth son, but there's the eighth day. The eighth day, the eighth day of circumcision. That means that God's got to not cut your flesh. He's got to cut your heart now. Mm -hmm. In other words, there's some things that have come against your heart that made your heart troubled. Let me just say this. This is a season where he don't want your heart to be troubled. In other words, he don't want your hearing. That word heart is the root word of hear. Mm -hmm. So let them who have an ear hear what the spirit is saying to the church. And then he brings us to the realm of the spirit where he says, now I made Adam on the sixth day, but Adam was really made in the first day. Mm -hmm. The water and the dirt was made on the first day. That's heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. But then he says, I got to bring Adam into a awakening. Let me just say, there is a great awakening coming to the church. There has been what we call the Daniel 12, 4 syndrome, where he told Daniel to shut up the book yes. till the time of the end. They were going to run to and fro and knowledge was going to increase. Now, we got a lot of knowledge. We got a lot of knowledge of the world and all that's in the world. But when it comes down to the knowledge of what God is saying, we have now amnesia. We've gone into a level where we don't even remember or retain what God said. So he brings forth Revelation 5.5 5, and he said, no man was worthy to open the book and loose the seals, mm. but Jesus, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Yes. Now, Daniel, the reason why the lions couldn't eat up Daniel in the lion's den, because there was four that looked like what God had created in the beast. Mm. He looked like the eagle, he looked like the lion, mm. he looked like the bear, and he looked like a man. So the lion that was in Daniel, the lion couldn't touch Daniel because Daniel looked like the lion. Mm. Now, you know that that which is animalistic can't devour one another because God made them in the animal kingdom the same day he made man on the sixth day. Mm -hmm. Man is the only one that has a problem with man. Why? Because man don't understand that if you don't have the knowledge of God, you're destroyed for a lack of it. And the church has had to shout, but they have not had the word. And Jesus said, I'm going to shift the church to the word this year because the shouting season was that last season. And he says, it is written, man cannot live by what? Bread alone. Right. So he's going to bring forth some men and some women of God that loves the word, that is going to use that word to bring you out of Egypt. He's not going to have a sermon. He's going to have a word that says, let my people go. Yeah. It's not going to take God a long time to do something because when Jesus shows up in the body, that man that sat by the pool for 38 years waited on somebody to put him in the water when it was troubled in that one season. Jesus showed up and within five seconds, the man got up because Jesus didn't talk about his condition. Jesus talked about the authority. Now there's an authority coming to the church that the church has not experienced. Why? Because they're murmuring and complaining about the water. But the water is what you got to be born from. You got to be born of the water and of the spirit. So the problem that we have is that we don't like to drink. 
Why don't we like to drink? Why? Because we look, we like that old water. We like that well of Jacob. We like that old season. We like that old move. We like that old thing. Mm -hmm. But when the new thing comes, we don't want to receive the new thing. Why? Because we've never tasted it before. Wow. We don't know that we need to taste and see that God is good. Yeah. And if you have a murmuring spirit, you won't go into the promise. That's the reason why you cannot, as a leader, let people try to push you into a place where you are now being overwhelmed by people's problems. Right. That's the reason why you got to take your problems to the one who says that when you say it, you'll see it. You'll see and it. when you begin to talk to God, mm -hmm. if you don't say nothing, you won't see nothing. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why you got to talk to God so you might see what you say. Mm -hmm. So this is the season while where the intercessors, the, the, the intercessors are coming back into the house of God. Why? Because God wants to hear a sound coming from the womb of those who are travailing. And so this is a season where the weeping women, the mourning women, mm -hmm. got to come forth. I know we get into a lot of funerals and we go all that, right. but you got to have a preceding prayer like Hannah mm -hmm. so that when you are going through ridicule and persecution, you can take it to the Lord. Yeah. And when you have gone through that season of persecution and you have gone through that season of opening your mouth, what you have said in prayer, you're going to see manifested in a son. And that son that you're bringing out is Samuel the prophet. Why? Because God will do nothing except he first turns his secrets over to the servants, the prophets. Mm -hmm. Amos 3, 7. Why is God going to do something prophetically in the house of God now? Because this next move is going to be the best move. Mm -hmm. And the best move is coming like rain. His doctrine shall fall like rain. Deuteronomy 32 and 2. And that's the reason why it's so important for us in this season not to get a man so sorrowful and so pitiful right. in what we are doing in the kingdom. Why? Because if you don't have no expectation, that means you have no anticipation. Now, what is anticipation? Anticipation is knowing that something is on the way that you already know in your womb mm -hmm. that is getting ready to be delivered. Mm -hmm. And because deliverance is the children's bread, yeah. he's got to bring the bread back to the house the because there's a whole lot of saints and leaders who need to be delivered. Yeah. Delivered from what? That old season. Mm -hmm. Amen. That which is in you got to come up out of you. And if it don't come up out of you, then you will be in a dry and thirsty place with no water that is being poured out. The water needs to be poured out because it's got to flow. And Isaiah said they shall all come together and what? Flow together. Why? Because if we don't come together and flow, that means we are still in stagnation, which means we're not going nowhere in this new season called 2018. So we're going to move into another realm of the spirit in 2018. Why? Because God says my water shall come down like rain. That's going to be my word. And as my word comes down and it plants into the earth, he says, now you're going to see the church moving into good ground, 30, 60, and 100 fold. Why? Because in shallow, in wayside, in thorny, in stony, there's nothing growing. So we have now shifted, we have broken up that fallow ground. Why? That we might grow and mature and support one another and see the increase. Amen. Somebody say increase. Increase. Because that's the next move that God is taking the church to. And you're going to see not only your saved ones, your loved ones being saved, you're going to see people calling on the name of Jesus like never before. Why? Because this is going to be outpouring. This first month is the latter and the former rain coming. The former rain was Noah. The latter rain is going to be Jesus. And he shall pour out his spirit upon all flesh. These men are not drunk as you suppose. This is what was prophesied by the prophet Joel. So saints of God, y'all look for the snow. Look for the rain. Because that's God's doctrine. And nobody will be able to shut up the floodgates when they're open. Why? Because let the floods clap their hands. He decrees let the floods clap. Why? If we don't praise him, he'll make the rocks cry out oh, yes, and praise him. Yes, so yes. saints of God, people of God, this is a shift. Somebody say a shift. A, a shift. shift. But it's shifting you into the ground where you are going to produce in this mm. new season. Hallelujah. So produce your seed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God, my After God. hearing Woo. this man of God, hearing the word of God, if I was a singer like the prophet, I might say, open the floodgates of heaven. 
and let it rain. Let it come on, rain. Come on, come on, come on, little. And so today we open up the floodgates oh, yeah. of Jesus Christ to you. Yeah. If you don't know him for yourself, get in and get all these goodies. Because don't miss out. The Bible declares Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Only God can say shout. When he spoke it, it's got to come to pass. We heard the word of God. We heard from the man of God. Would you make Jesus your choice today so you can be better, bigger, and brighter? That's the word. Uh, shake my hand, Apostle. Man of God, man of God. We, Isaiah uh, 60, arise and shine, for your light is come, yes. and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For gross darkness is covering the people, and darkness is covering the earth. But he tells us in Psalm 105, 19, thy word or my word is a lamp into your feet, a light into your path. Right. Saints of God, God cannot do anything that he has not already done. It is already finished. That's right. You have now come into a better, a brighter, and a bigger moment because you just heard a rhema word. Now, if you go back and hear that word again and again and again, you'll catch the revelation of what he was saying about the water. Why? Because the water going to get brighter, the water going to get bigger, and the water going to get better. And let me just tell you that stale water, that expired water that the church been drinking, that moment of expiration has been cut off. God is getting ready to send fresh water to the body of Christ. It's not going to be that kind of water that has been sitting around for 30 years and not have been moving. Well, God said, I'm getting ready to move by my spirit. Well, and because his spirit is moving, yeah. what has been last shall become first. Hey. And what has been first is getting ready to become last. Because he is the alpha and he is the omega. He has the end and he has the beginning already in mind. And know this one thing. That he that had begun a good work in you yes, sir. <laughs> is getting ready to perform it. That's right. Hallelujah. Because he's not going to wait. Glory. Because this next move is going to be the best move. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 oh. You just, you have, oh, glory. You have no idea. Um, I normally got a big mouth. And I'm normally just talking, yak, 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 yak. But I am, it's such a presence of the Lord in this place. Hallelujah. Oh. And so I thank him for the shifting. I thank him mm. for 2018. Mm. Better, mm. brighter, yes, Lord. and bigger. Yes, Hallelujah. Uh, eyes have not seen. Yes. Ears. ears have not heard. Neither have it entered into the hearts of men the things that he has prepared for us. No matter what you have been going through, because many of us have been going through things, but you've just been silent. Huh? I'm going to keep it in the eye. Mm. I've been silent, but my mouth is no longer muffled. Good God Almighty. And now that my mouth is open and I began to speak and decree and declare a thing, then it shall be established in the earth realm. And so I say unto you, Satan, loose here, devil. Loose, loose. Good God Almighty. Loose. Ha, make way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For all of the chariots of Pharaoh, hallelujah, have been overturned. And those enemies in 2018, you shall see, see no, no more. more. Yes. Mm. Glory be Hallelujah. to God. We thank you. Hallelujah. For what the God of our salvation yes. is doing, Amen. what he Jesus. is done. Hallelujah. We believe Amen. God as we walk. Hallelujah. On dry land. My as we hold up the waters on each side. Hallelujah. Amen, the way has been opened Amen. up. The path is clear. And if you are following Christ, the path is sure. Hallelujah. Mighty God have your way. Have your way. Hallelujah. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. Ooh, yeah. Come on. And he shall be called Ooh, Everlasting hallelujah. Father. Yes. Prince of, Peace. Prince of Peace. Do you see? There is a shifting that is taking the people from what God said. You notice he didn't say, let your cousin go. Right. Let your wife go. Uh -huh. Let your sister go. Right. Hey. He told 
Moses to tell Pharaoh, let my people go. Let my people go. See, there's been, a, there's been a shift of the covenant. Uh -huh. yeah. God is bringing the people back to him. Yeah. Right. Why? Because we have been away from him. Why? Because we've been in a wilderness experience. Mm. There has no been no water. There has been no water coming. Yes, yes. But the latter rain is here now. The latter rain is here. It's here to cause you to be cleansed by the reading of the word. Yeah. Mm. And as you read the word, you now shall be made clean. You shall be made clean. See? Hallelujah. Huh. And one other thing. Come on, come we on. You got to also realize this too. The government can shut down. Hmm. They can march the city hall from every city. Hmm. Yes. But when God say move, move. It's gonna move. It's gonna move. It's gonna move. When you say we won't see no enemies because the water gonna close. Close yes, it While it's closing, close. the enemy is cleaning us at the same time. Hmm. I wish I had some help. Yes. <laughs> and we shall become fruitful and multiply. Hey. That's right. And replenish the earth with sons uh -huh. and with daughters. Yeah, hey. come on. Because the whole earth is travailing. Uh -huh. It's been waiting on us. Yes. But we've been waiting on Pharaoh. Yeah. But let me just pronounce to this nation. Come on. That the time has come. Yes. For the church to arise. Uh -huh. For its light has come. Uh -huh. And the glory of the Lord. Yeah. Has rendered upon it. Yes. Has risen upon it. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 We are so sorry. Arise and shine. Yes. Hallelujah. Your light has come. Wrap it up. Oh, we got to wrap up this segment glory to god mm. Woo! but like he told you you can go and press play <laughs> rewind press play oh, and you can keep on listening to this word uh. as he said because when you keep on listening you gonna catch that rhema because for it, this was a deep word hallelujah jesus this was deep Huh, Cause deep calleth unto deep. That's right. So sometimes you got to go back and hear it again That's right. and again until that process takes place. And then how huh, that light bulb goes off? Cause he gonna give it to you because he wants you to understand what he has sent Amen. in this ring. My, my, my. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I gotta talk about these books and give Apostle Scott the opportunity to tell us where you can purchase them. There is church on life support. No need for an autopsy. Glory to God. Live. <laughs> Hallelujah. God brings dead things to life. That's ha. right. Decree and declare it. Ha. Come on up out of the graveyard. Anointed Arise. to say no. Hallelujah. Time to change your all. Oh, ha. what you say? Somebody get an all change today. Produce your seed. That's my, the my, newest my. work. <laughs> Glory to God. Produce your seed. Your money going to grow yeah. this year. Glory yeah. to God. Your uh, children going to grow on, this year. Yeah. Come on. And your rainbow word going to grow this yeah, year. Yeah, come yes. on. Hallelujah. And we have the beautiful prophet of Scott, the power and essence of worship. Wow. Hallelujah. The song that she performed today is on this CD as well. Come on, y'all. Hallelujah. Mm. What is that address? Where can they get this information? One second. I'm sorry. She also has good morning, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And we are so grateful uh, again for both of them being here. That's what right. is that address there, that they're able to uh, purchase these beautiful, wonderful, anointed uh, resources? The, these are empowerment yes. uh, tools, tapes, and, and books. On, these are to empower the church. And, and there's two levels. If you uh, want to go uh, into social media, you can order these by PayPal me. Uh, dot Alpha and Omega Ministries. You can make your online donation uh, into the ministry, and by you uh, signing up, it'll give me an invoice on where to send the proper material. Just you know, state which ones you want. And uh, again, uh, all six books are are given to a, a price of seventy five dollars. If you want all six, if you want to individually do books, they're twenty dollars, and for two, there's thirty. So if you want to do it by social media, you can go again to PayPal me at uh, or dot alpha and omega ministries and you'll go right to the paypal account and if you want to do mail order you can go to p.o box uh send it in p.o box 105 niles ohio n-i-l-e-s ohio 44446 again p.o box 105 niles ohio 444 Four, six. We we love to see your name uh, in the mailing. Uh, we, we just want you to be encouraged because Amen. God has called us to produce our seed. Uh, there's no need 
any longer for an autopsy. We just want you to live. Yes, Jesus has yes, come to yes, make yes, us yes. live and that living, living more abundantly, living mm -hmm. more abundantly. Mm -hmm. Not just talking about how bad it is. Don't worry about what the government is going to look like. That's right. The government is upon his shoulders. Yeah. And he said he will never leave us nor yes. forsake us. There is a shaking going on in yes. D.C. Yes. And it's to shake loose that which has been holding you back from your promise. Huh. So let God be God and let everything that is not of God be exposed. Amen. Glory. Amen. Glory. Let God be God. Reverend Little, yes. we're pressing towards our uh, time there. What do you have to say? How oh, I want to give a shout out to all our viewers. God bless you. Uh, to Warren, God bless you. Hey, if anybody out there want Dr. Man and Big Little to come at your local church and do a workshop or something, we'll be there. But all you got to do is make the contact. And then one other thing, just remember, y'all, as believers, we're on the same team. Don't try to do it all by yourself. Amen. You got help Amen. out here. That's right. They you got, got help. help. We're on the same help. team. Don't be sitting there thinking you can do all this by yourself. Mm -hmm. Listen, mm -hmm. you will go. No, I ain't going to say you will go crazy, but you'll be dead and crazy. But <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully we get to go to Warren off 422 West. But I hear you probably go ahead. We, we get live yeah. right now. And, I, and, and if Dr. Man and me come down there, well, I'm quite sure the, um, uh, we're not looking for a handout, but just a hand up. Oh, we yes. want to bring you up. But we do want to eat at the hot dog restaurant. Amen. 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 West Market West Street. Market Street, the hot dog shop. The hot dog shop. So World famous. I, I like the one with, with lettuce and cheese and, you know. Okay. I want to say one more thing. Uh, Prophetess Carol has her first book. She's a retired school teacher after 30 years teaching hey, LD, man. special ed. She has her first book coming out called The Image of Authority. Hey, and that's the reason why it, it rubbed off on her to start writing because, again, we have our seventh book coming out wow. uh, in 2018. And that one's going to be called The Custody Battle. Okay. Is finished. Some of y'all have been fighting for Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Uh, the custody battle is finished. He belongs to his father. Amen. Yeah, exactly. And so we belong to the father. That's the reason why we cry Abba. Look for those two projects coming out in the spring. Come on. And uh, we also have the men's rally coming up. Yes. Uh, yes Dr. Yes, Maynard, yes. in 25 years mm -hmm. of our silver anniversary, yes. we're going to be commencing uh, the week of April, uh, the yes. 7th, the 8th, and also the 9th. We'll be together. Uh, April the 7th, 8th, and 9th, right. which is a Saturday, a Sunday, uh, uh, sorry, a Friday, mm -hmm. uh, a Saturday, and a Sunday. Right. So those dates in April, again, are going to be the 6th, 7th, and 8th. Let me re rephrase that. The 6th, 7th, and 8th, 25 years of ministry mm -hmm. and 16 years of pastoring Amen. will be commenced on that three-day uh, weekend. Right. Amen. 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 Oh, hallelujah. You know I don't do shout outs. I, know I, just, I always tease him. Hallelujah. I don't do shout outs. <laughs> But no, I love all of you viewers. I am so grateful that you take the time to tune in. Um, again, leave comments for us. You can always, for, because he was sharing with you, if you do want anything from Dr. Maynard and Reverend Little, 216-283-0330. That's 216-283-0330. It's just a phone call away. Amen. Amen. You, Amen. Can you can call collect. You can call collect. They better not call collect. <laughs> I ain't answering. If you, I ain't if you, if you miss, if you miss it, if you miss it, what? when the trumpet go off, if you miss it, it ain't oh, because God, God didn't. Ain't no it ain't off. because it ain't because God didn't make the effort to get the word out. Don't miss the second coming. Hey, that we still got work to do, but you don't want to do. miss Jesus when he come back. That's right. Mm -hmm. For the big mm -hmm. water. Mm -hmm. And are the you, word. Uh, are you thirsty now? My, my. <laughs> Hallelujah. The word. Hallelujah. The word. Hallelujah. That's right. Prophet Scott been so quiet over here. We got a few minutes left. We we're really riding up. I think we got about three minutes. How we doing over there, Apostle James? Hey, we got a little bit. Of well, I just wanted to say, you know, I, 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 my mind just go back to that scripture, Romans 14, 17, where it says the kingdom of God is not okay. meat or drink, but it is righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Amen. And so we want to, you know, have love one for another, you know, That's love right. your family. Just, just love your neighbor and 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 just tell them about Jesus because that's what it's all about. Yeah. It's about Him. Yes, and I just is. thank God for the Word of God. I've enjoyed everything. I thank you for inviting us, Doctor Maynard and and uh, Apostle Little. 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 
I thank God Amen. for you, Pastor Little. Amen. Better, Name, brighter, bigger. Amen. Amen. A bigger and brighter day. Yes, yes, and we just yes. thank God and also for Amen. you, Apostle, Apostle James. James. And, and uh, I just enjoyed everything that I've heard. And thank you so much. <laughs> and we're not strange, like he said. We are family. We are family. Right. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Right. Amen. Fact. Better, brighter, and bigger, yes. Dr. Maynard. Yes, yes. And increase is upon this, uh, this network. And you're going to see an expansion taking place in this region, Canton, Akron, Youngstown. Get ready Hallelujah. because new voices are coming yes. to your ear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are so excited uh, for all the things that God is doing and all of the things that he has done. I know today. Hallelujah. I wish that I had been able to kind of do Work. I'm working on it. Hallelujah. This multitasking where you got to be in Facebook and you got, I'm still working on it. <laughs> but I'm pretty certain that there have been many comments. Um, and if you haven't made a comment yet, make it now because we'll address those comments next week because we want you to know that we never take for granted that you tuned in, that you took the time to even add a line or two if it's just amen. amen. We know that God is doing something. That's Hallelujah. Right. We are so grateful again that you tune into the Sharpening Zone. Tell a friend. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Go on YouTube at the end. If they don't have, they can't get on Facebook, go to YouTube and type in the Sharpening Zone. Hallelujah. And again, rewind. Hit that play button again so that you can get this message because there's been a great shifting in the house. And because it has been a great shifting, that means that we're able to do some great things. Amen. New mercy. Kingdom blessings. New mercy. Kingdom blessings. Kingdom blessings. Hallelujah.